And we're going to sing this song. And the, the Holy Spirit's going to move. And I don't want you to strain. This is the thing. Don't strain. But be relaxed inside because it's not you touching him. It's him touching you. And he wants a landing strip in you to be able to touch you. And uh, I know there's a new anointing coming with regard to healing. I was in a healing conference last week with four very divergent speakers and every one of them has had an encounter with this whole Catherine Coleman anointing thing recently and it's as though God is releasing her anointing to the churches now and it's a different way of getting healed all of us have struggled all of us have tried to believe some of us have fasted and prayed um hunger strike actually but that's what we call it fasting and it's like all the striving and the one thing i learned when i met Catherine coleman she never strove about anything but she didn't act quickly in one service the holy spirit was so present that she didn't get time to even preach anything it was four hours of miracles. In another service, she preached for an hour and a half about nothing. It was the most boring thing I've ever listened to, but she was not worrying about what she was preaching. She was waiting for the Holy Spirit to come. The Holy Spirit's here, but he's about to come in a new way. He's about to come in a different way. So. If you can remember the song, just close your eyes, relax, and raise your hands, and God's gonna to touch many, many, many of you right now. But don't be passive in singing it, and don't hum it under your breath. There's something about reaching in a way, he touched me, and all the joy that floods my soul. You can't manufacture that joy that's what God gives. He touched me and he wants to make you whole.
just want to hear you sing it now. Just do it one more time, then we'll find out what God's done.